Fabrizio. Ciao. How are you? Very well. You? Good, good. I must say this is a very special moment for me because my father has raised me with a nostalgic attachment to Bulgari. Ah, great. When they hired me at Siddiqui, they asked me, what was your favorite watch brand? And it was Bulgari. Great. Thank you so much. We are very so happy. So this is a real honor for me. I have been pestering you behind the scenes about uh, having the Bulgari Octo for women. Mm -hmm. I have yet to see it, <laughs> but I'm sure <laughs> we will see one soon. Um, okay, so uh, we'll go straight straight to the source. Mm -hmm. Now, we're celebrating 10 years of the Octo, yeah. which is a big milestone. Uh, okay, so how did the watches with the sketches come about? We know you're a sketch artist. I believe you sell some of your sketches, right? Some sketches about vintage cars or this kind of things because uh, I receive a lot of requests in a certain moment. I say, okay, I'll try and we'll, we'll see what's happening. But this is another. This is another story. Yes, <laughs> it's for another channel. Are <laughs> 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 we? <laughs> okay, but how did the idea come to print your sketches on the watches? But uh, it, it looks very simple, but at the end, uh, all the, the the things that looks very simple are very difficult to do. Yeah. Uh, the idea was to use one of the sketches that I made uh, during the years to celebrate uh, the Octo. And uh, in a certain moment we start to, to select the sketches and we start to scan, to digitalize the sketch. So and this uh, came from before the idea of the Yes, sketch. it's one, one of the sketches that we made. Uh, and uh, when you make a sketch, uh, you have a different, uh, different uh, kind of strokes. Uh, so when you digitalize a sketch, it's one of the most difficult things that you can imagine to do because you have to uh, select uh, the, the, the pixel, it must yeah. be on the, on the drawings or not. So it looks simple, the dial is made with the laser. Uh, in a certain moment uh, we make several and several trials uh, because the idea was to have the dial that looks like makes uh, with, uh, with the pencil. Mm -hmm. So we, when you make a sketch with a pencil, you have a different uh, uh, thickness of the stroke. You yeah. have different, uh, no, it's like a sort of three-dimensional elements. Yeah. And this is not so easy when you use, when you make a digital sketch. So at the beginning, the construction lines uh, were so evident. So we decided to change and we make several trials to have the same, uh, the right thickness and the right color okay. of these lines. And we make the dial with the laser. Okay. Uh, so that's why it was, was so difficult and we spent, if I remember well, uh, six or seven months just to develop these very simple uh, dials. And for the chronograph was even worse because we have a lot of elements in more if you compare with, uh, with uh, one minute and seven. So it looks simple, but it was not simple it was at not. all. But I actually love the, I love the watch because when I saw it, I felt like you can see the soul mm. behind the Maison more in this yeah. watch than others. And it takes me back to a time of how I envision Leonardo da Vinci's school Oh, was. thank you so much. You know, like how you just thought it was raw and yeah. sketches. It took me there. So yeah. I was very excited about that. Thank you. Feel free to send okay. me a PR package. <laughs> I will accept. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now speaking about Octo and Serpenti, yeah. um, can we see a future soon, perhaps in your favorite event, Dubai Watch Week? My favorite event. Please make the event every year. Why are you making every two years? Um, Please, Hindi, come on. We want to stay in we Dubai can ask, We can ask uh, <laughs> the Dubai Watch Week team management <laughs> to make it every year. If you, if you support us, we might be able yes. to do it. Yes. Okay, so for the Octo and the Serpenti, can we expect to see a female Octo soon and a male Serpenti soon? Yeah, this was the discussion during uh, during uh, our panels during last Dubai Watch Week with uh, with Susan Wong about the gender watches and uh, for me, uh, so it's an open discussion. Uh, unfortunately, it's not possible today to have a Finissimo for ladies. We receive a lot of requests from the beginning of the Octo Finissimo journey because these ultra thin watches is very comfortable on the wrist but unfortunately we to develop uh, to have a smaller finissimo we we have to develop a brand new a brand new movement okay. for the serpenti on the male side uh, is uh, it's more or less the same approach we don't want to mix and match different uh, different watches are very important pillars for bulgari but we will see honestly the gender is just something that we have in our mind and uh, in our culture but at the end you are free to wear the watch that you love and the watch that you you love to wear at the end so we will see for the future mm 
Okay. Uh, today we don't have an octofinissimo for a uh, smaller size. Uh, what sorry about for, for small people? Yes, that's the point. We have to develop a new movement, but maybe we can use the piccolissimo <laughs> movement uh, that comes from Serpenti yeah. in the octo. Frankenstein. Yes, a yes. Frankenstein. Uh, we can make a sketches, and <laughs> after we will see what's happened. Okay. Fine. Okay. And my final question uh, takes you back to heritage, to your design pillars, Gerald yeah. Genta and Daniel Roth. Uh, are there any other designers, perhaps even outside of horology, mm. that continue to inspire Bulgari? But you know, I honestly, I'm <coughs> I start to make sketches when I was very, very young. During my childhood, I was four or five, and um, I don't have so many masters, honestly. Uh, for sure, Italians are very well known for the history of arts with Michelangelo, Leonardo, Tiziano and so many others, uh, Bernini, Borromini, you can, we can discuss for hours about that, but I'm not obsessed by masters. I have some uh, reference uh, like, uh, like Achille Castiglioni and Somari, Mario Bellini, even Dieter Rams from Germany, because they used to design things in a very, very unique way without decorative elements, uh, uh, think object uh, that must be timeless, uh, and this is my approach. Uh, Daniel Roth and Gerald Genta, for sure, we, we have this amazing know-how that we found in the, in the facilities in Manufacture des Autologeries when we bought uh, the company more than 20 years ago. And that's why today we have the Finissimo and that's why today we have all this amazing movement. But I'm, I'm honest, uh, I'm not obsessed by masters or... Uh, okay, inspiration is everywhere. The inspiration is everywhere and often I have to tell you the truth, the inspiration comes from the brand itself. Yeah. Because with Bulgari products, even thanks to Gianni Bulgari, we have an amazing archive and each time uh, the archive for us is an opportunity to, to reinvent the brand. As you can see with the Serpenti, yeah. we have uh, six, seven different ways to wear a Serpenti watch mm -hmm. and uh, each time we find a different way to to to, to talk about uh, to talk about the brand. That's true. Okay, fine. So for us, the motto at Bulgari is inspiration is yes. at Bulgari. Yes. Okay. Often, often. And my final question, Fabrizio, which is what the people want to know. Mm. What are your <laughs> thoughts on NFTs? Are you designing watches for the metaverse? Uh, uh, so this is a very interesting topic. Okay. Uh, I'm an industrial designer, so my passion is to design objects. And during uh, all these interviews, in a certain moment, I discover a, a concept that uh, the, the watch is a, the, the product is a just an opportunity for me to make another sketch. <laughs> <laughs> At the end, <laughs> is my biggest passion. And uh, the Octo Finissimo Ultra for me is a gate. Okay. We want to use the most uh, incredible uh, know-how and watchmaking industry to give you the opportunity to go in in a digital world. Okay. So the NFT, it was, uh, it was a constraint because in a certain moment, uh, the barrel is the biggest element on the, on the face of the watch and we have to use a certain decorative elements. But I hate to use just an applied decorative yeah, element. Yeah. So in a certain moment I say, I have to use this constraint, I have to turn it in an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I say, what do we, we don't put a QR code on top yes, of that? Yeah. And we use the QR code as a gate uh, to to open a new a new Avenue, world. Yes. Exactly. So, as an industrial designer, I love to design objects that the people have to use. But with this new technology, with these new um, elements, we can uh, we can open uh, a new experience. experience. An opportunity. So on the Ultra, you're gonna have an NFT. You're gonna have a digital art. You're gonna have a, with the Oculus through the mm -hmm. Oculus an immersive uh, experience uh, inside the watch. Yeah. So for me, maybe is the most iconic record for the Octo Finissimo. Uh, it could be the end of a journey, but for me is the beginning of a new journey. Yeah. And I don't want to become uh, a designer of interface. I want to be a designer who design things that the people uh, enjoy. must yes, yes. enjoy. Well, thank you so much, Fabrizio. It's always a great pleasure. You too. Thank you. Fabrizio. Thank you so much. Thanks.